Welcome to Paul's Toolbox. Today we're going to cover painting your doors. And I'm going to show you how to get this paint to look like it was sprayed on when you're actually not spraying it. I showed how to prep the cabinets in the last video, how to paint cabinets the easy way. And after I prepped it, I came back and primed it with a can primer. This right here is an automotive primer, and I, I speak about that on the other video. And all I did was I sprayed it across this whole thing and let it dry so we can go ahead and put our finished coats on. After priming the door, I came back over and, and hit it with double zero uh, steel wool. This is some good stuff. And I just come by and, and lightly rub it. After that, you need to clean it, blow all the little bristles off because this does break off in there. Now, I also will use 400 or, or above uh, wet sandpaper. I like to call this dry rolling it. Okay, what I'll do is I'm going to brush all in here and cover all my creases. Once I have that done, I'll come over with a dry roller and just roll on top of it. The reason why I'm using a dry roller is because it keeps it thin and you won't have any raised spots. It'll be really tight on the door. Then you can come back over and clean it and put a clear coat and it's going to look like it was sprayed. I'll take it right in the cracks, cover everything real well. You may have to put two coats on here, and that's fine. I like to put two coats of paint on anything that I'm painting. Okay, it's going to hold it up to where I can get paint all the way around on here. You take your roller and you press it down in there. You want to knock all these little brush strokes out, so you want to press it. Ideally, I like to spray my doors, but if you don't have a sprayer, this is the way to go. Now that this door is finished, I can put it aside and grab another door if I want and start rolling and brushing that one. You don't want this to totally dry out, but you can continue to use it on each door. You don't have to take and clean this off every time. It has a little bit of paint on there. You just don't want it loaded up with paint where it's going to show the roller marks. You want this to be fine when you roll on there. Do not take a lunch break and then come back and expect to use it like that because it'll dry out and you'll really mess it up. So. It's a good thing to have a couple of these little rollers around and you pop another one on when it starts getting dry, put this one in a bucket of water and clean it. It only takes a couple of minutes to, to clean a small roller like this. I put two coats on here, let it sit overnight. I like to do that myself, let it cure overnight before I come back over and start sanding on it. You can read your instructions on your can and uh, if it tells you that it's cured before that, go ahead, and, go ahead and do it if you want. Personally, I like to leave it overnight. Now. Once I do that, I come back over with steel, steel wool, and that's what I did here. I hit the whole thing with steel wool, and I don't rub it real hard. I just lightly hit it to take the, the imperfections off of there and make it smooth. Once it's nice and smooth, you can come back over with your clear coat. You don't want to use uh, um, wet sandpaper on this unless it is a semi-gloss or a gloss. Never use it on a satin because that satin paint will come off if you, if you uh, put water on there. Everybody has their own preference when it comes to paints or anything like that. But this right here is fantastic. This is a, a water-based Alkyd paint, and it's Pro Classic by Sherwin-Williams. Sherwin-Williams has a number of Pro Classic uh, paints that are excellent. This one is a mixture between oil and water base, meaning it can adhere like an oil base. It has oil-based properties in it, but you can wash it off with water and soap. Fantastic product. I don't know how they came up with this, but boy, when I start painting it on here, you'll see how smooth it is. Let me give you a quick tip. I don't know if y'all know about this, but in this lip right here, 
you have a channel. And what I do is I pop holes in there so when the paint gets in that lip and that rim, you can just push it around and it's going to fall down in the holes and not clog up and keep your paint lid from coming open when you next time you use it. So we'll take this and I'll put this point right down in there and pop some holes in it. This particular screwdriver has an awl on it. You could use a small tip uh, um, Phillips on there, but this all this pointed tip right here really makes it easy. And it was an attachment that can go on to Mega Pro screwdrivers, which I really like. You see how the holes are in here? So when this drains, it's going to go down in that channel and it's not going to gum up. Watch how smooth this goes on. It'll blow your mind how easy it is to put on compared to your regular paint. If you want your regular paint to go on smooth like this, you will check out my other video. And I show how to take the paint and cut it with clear in order to make it work like this. But this is a fantastic uh, paint. It's actually smooth by itself you don't have to add anything to it and it it's a little more durable than regular latex of course you're gonna make it more durable when you put clear in it and I've put clear in this and made it super slick and shiny too if I want a super gloss right now I'm not looking for a super gloss I'm looking for a satin finish one that's gonna basically match the standard cabinets that come from the factory Take my dry roller, and I'll just push it across here. And it's going to get rid of all the brush strokes. Even though this is real smooth, you'll have small brush strokes. But if you take this and roll over it with a dry roller, it gets real flat. And when it lays down, like this paint does real well, it's going to, it's going to lay down like a spray. That's all there is to it. Normally, I will prime anything that I'm going to paint. That's why I bring my doors outside to prime them, because I don't want the fumes in the house. Inside, you can take and use just sandpaper and knock this down, get it uh, to where it's a little bit roughed up. And I use 120 grit sandpaper on that vibrating sander and just hit this. You can do that in the house and keep the dust down to a minimum. And then you can apply this, and this paint will stick real well on there. Like I said, it's going to stick well, but it sticks better if you have primer on there. It just makes it a little bit more durable. Don't worry much about this part because this doesn't get used as much as your doors. Your doors you're grabbing constantly and you can wear that faster. Also, I put a clear coat on it. So what we'll do is we'll take a satin clear and spray the doors after and you do that outside. You can even spray that inside if you want, but there's no real need to do that if you don't want the fumes. You don't want to paint this in the sun because you don't want to get tacky on you before you can roll it out. So uh, do it in the, in the shade, inside somewhere if you want. If this was up against the wall, you could just cut it in and roll as close to the wall as you can. Or put some tape on the wall and get your roller right up to the end of it. If you only have one roller, which I don't recommend, I recommend getting a couple of them, at least two to three when you do this. If you have to wash it and come back and roll again and using that roller, make sure you dry it real well. Take it, if you have to, in a rag, squeeze it back and forth. Just make sure it's dry because if you roll back on this and you have water on there, you will have blotches on your uh, paint and it could possibly run too. This door is really, really smooth. All I'm going to do is take double zero steel wool and lightly rub it just to make sure I get anything off that that may have been on a roll or maybe a hair or anything that that happened to get in there so I just lightly hit it and we'll go ahead and put the clear coat on after I do this I'm gonna make sure I get everything off of it as far as the little bristles from this you have to make sure it's clean that's it
This is Mohawk, and it's a pre-catalyzed uh, lacquer. And this right here is um, Deft, which you can buy at Home Depot. You have to get this on uh, online or at a paint supply house. Not all of them have it. But it's a great product. The pre-catalyzed um, lacquer is a little bit harder than the standard lacquer. You spray it on, you can touch it five or ten minutes later at the most. And then you can come back over in a half hour and recoat it. So I put two to three coats on here. When I'm finished, shake it up real good and just spray even, even strokes on it. I'm almost out and I'm out of the other spray. That's why I'm using this. I'm almost out of this stuff. I'm going to go get me another can before I put my other coats on. But this will give you a good idea. Well, that's it for now. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out paulstoolbox.com for all my archived videos, and you'll see my videos in order. So if you want to go into drywall or electrical, you can, you can find those easily. I have some information on these products that I've used today in the uh, description box. And I'll see you on the next project.